Okay, I just found a new trick. It's quite uh, interesting and very easy to do. Like a prism of star. You can do three, four, five different. Which color do we choose? We have used this blue one. We will use this green one. Oh, sorry, spent too much time hesitating. We will do four or five. Okay, four to start. Then it's a uh, Pretty taco. Where's my ruler? A pretty taco. And another taco. Another time. Back in the center. How do we know if we are in the center? Have to point right to the center. This one bend back. This one. And back one so easy. Pretty taco.
Okay, this one we will do four. Put it in. Just so easy. Put this one in. Just so easy. This one. Put this one in. And put this one in. Sidu. Now we need to make sure they are all very well connected. Okay. Connected. Connected. Oh, all connected. Press it down. Connect When you really make it, you can put a tiny bit of glue because this kind of a clustered origami is too easy to open now. Oh, oh, see, it's already open now. So you can use your hand here. Mm -mm. Open up a little bit. Open up a little bit. So this is... This is it. Quite not functional, just for for the purpose of origami. But uh, the other day I was listening to our teacher's presentation. The teacher, she's uh, a scientist. I'm passionate about science, math, mathematics, and she mentioned that. Uh, when the NASA designed uh, satellite in the sky, they actually uh, consulted origami artists and so that they can open up the fold and open up the satellite wings or open up the satellite in the most efficient and most doable way. And this is really inspiring, and uh, her story inspired me to do more origami. Origami, sometimes it's useful, you can make a small box, sometimes not so useful, but for it's only for the purpose of origami. Still, it's, uh, it has its own reason, and uh, it's a great thing. for the sake of science. Voila.